All right, just trying to get my screen set here. Okay. Um, hello, I'm Martin with Tree of Light Health. Um, I want to talk to you guys today a bit about uh, some water and uh, the importance of that, and particularly molecular hydrogen and even more specifically, Brown's gas novel solutions to reduce inflammation. Um, first of all, for those of you who do not know me, um, I'm Martin with Tree of Light Health. Uh, we provide advanced functional, integrative, and holistic medicine um, and help people who are dealing with um, chronic inflammatory diseases, chronic fatigue, um, and um, we go way beyond some of the traditional functional medicine practices and um, employ uh, light-based technologies and advanced biofeedback to get our patients better. Uh, we're located in Decatur, Georgia. Uh, some disclosures, we do work with some of the products we'll be talking about here today. One of those uh, Synergy Science uh, products, it's an activated hydrogen product, as well as um, Aquacure. Um, just a quick dis disclaimer, um, none of the information that we're going to talk about here today is designed to treat, cure, prevent any disease or ailment, nor should it be used to facilitate self-treatment. Um, all of our information is for educational purposes and should not be a substitute for professional advice of any kind. Um, no natural health method or supplement can replace standard medical care. <clears throat> Um, nutritional supplements and other things um, involved uh, holistic medicine are not generally not approved by the FDA. Please consult with your doctor before doing anything with your health. <clears throat> okay, so um, what I'd love to talk to you guys about is just the general concept of inflammation, um, as you may know, <clears throat> uh, and what to do about it. As you may know, chronic inflammation is at the heart of many um, disease processes, cancer, neurological illness, uh, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis, um, and so on and so forth. Um, part of what we call the exposome is all the things that we're exposed to that can lead to uh, chronic inflammation, that being pollution, UVA radiation, chemicals, um, stress, uh, our diets, sleep, um, alcohol and things. Um, all of this can contribute to this chronic inflammation that we're seeing today that leads to some of the um, top disease states uh, in terms of cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and so forth. Um, I talked on my last webinar about um, the importance of uh, gut health, and um, often uh, the gut is the primary source of inflammation. Even if you're not experiencing symptoms, you can have this low-grade hidden inflammation um, leading to these alterations here in the gut lining and uh, creating this um, effect of too much uh, lipopolysaccharide creating inflammation in the body. Um, one thing that happens as we get older is our thymus gland, which is a gland, you know, right here um, at the top of our chest, uh, involutes or get smaller. And um, unfortunately, due to that, uh, there's increased um, low, uh, TH2 activity and uh, decreased TH1. Um, that leads to um, more inflammation, histamine responses, uh, mast cell activation that so many of you guys deal with, um, as well as increased in inflammatory cytokines. Um, one thing that happens is we have an accumulation of what we call zombie cells. These are um, cells that <clears throat> um, should be cleared out by the immune system, um, but think of them as like zombies going around and creating inflammation in the body, and then these start other fires of inflammation. Um, what we're supposed to do when we sleep and when we fast is to clear out um, those senescent cells, but that whole process is, becomes less efficient as we get older. <clears throat> um, the mitochondrial dysfunction that we've talked about some in our previous talks uh, has um, a, a big foundation with chronic illness um, and this inability to clear out dead cells. All of this leads to increased uh, inflammatory cytokines, <clears throat> leading to alterations in um, hormones and other proteins, leading to this process called inflammation. Um, <clears throat> there's many things, um, of course, that um, lead to the third leading cause of death uh, or cancer. And that, again, is this inflammaging process um, leading to this uh, NF-kappa B 
um, uh, activation, um, which which is not good. Um, so uh, one thing we want to do is to try to prevent cancer. Um, as one in three of us uh, will most likely have to deal with cancer at some point in our lives. Um, so how does oxidative stress occur? Well, as we just mentioned, um, gut damage um, through this lipopolysaccharide. But I want to make, a, again, a very special um, sort of uh, information about antibiotics and the fact that they're the number one cause for inflammation. In fact, um, they're way overprescribed. They don't work for viruses. If you have a cold, please don't take an antibiotic. Um, they destroy the gut microbiome. Um, I'm sorry, they're only best for chronic conditions, um, emergency conditions that ne uh, necessi necessitate a bacterial um, antibi antibi antibiotic for uh, uh, overgrowth of bacteria. Um, we're not as big on antibiotics for chronic conditions, even Lyme disease. We, um, we use uh, herbs to help modulate the immune system as well as low dose immunotherapy and other things. Um, stress, as we talked about, heavy metal exposure. I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about that in a second. Um, diet and uh, just the aging process itself um, or inflammation. Um, many of you have heavy metals and don't know it, um, especially if those of you that have had uh, mercury amalgams in the past even if you've had them removed, um, even by a non -bi uh, by a biological dentist, uh, which we always prefer. Um, in this case, this gentleman had his amalgams removed um, many years ago and still has silver and mercury quite high, um, despite uh, all his detox efforts and the aluminum, as you can see, is quite high. Um, all of this is creating inflammation in the body. Uh, just very quickly to denote the difference between oxidative stress and oxidation, Oxidative stress is an unnatural process in the body, and it's really the too many uh, free radicals floating around, and the body cannot counteract those harmful effects, and that in an ongoing way really does lead to things like cancer, as we just mentioned. Um, oxidation, on the other hand, is a natural process. The body uses a, a system called the ox, oxidation and reduction uh, reactions to keep that in balance, so we really want to figure out what can we do to assist the body with natural oxidation and prevent oxidative stress? Um, free radicals, as you may know, uh, again, tied to every single chronic illness that we can think of, uh, everything from cardiovascular disease um, to um, Alzheimer's, uh, Parkinson's, uh, alterations in the immune system, autoimmune disorders, uh, diabetes, of course, um, macular de de degeneration, um, so, um, what can we do about this? Well, um, first of all, we want to think about what's coming into our system at all times. And, um, if you're a normal human, you're drinking water throughout the day. Um, but we want to know what's in that water. And unfortunately, um, and many of you know this, but for those of you who don't, um, the water is full of nasty stuff. Um, you can go to this uh, ewg.org and look at the tap water there and, um, type in your zip code here and um, see what's in your water. Um, but you will find um, some not so great things. <clears throat> Unfortunately, all of us have glyphosate in our body. This is Monsanto's round, Roundup. Um, even if it's at low levels, um, I've almost never seen someone not have it in the system. Um, heavy metals, as we just discussed, uh, hormones, you know, if uh, a woman does birth control, um, she's peeing out some of the birth control in the, in the, in the toilet, uh, that goes to the municipal water supply company, um, and they simply they cannot uh, treat everything, and um, these things uh, do slip through. Um, so what can we do? Well, um, as you know, uh, you know, in holistic medicine, we want to try to get the most purest things in, and that means water. Um, by the way, you should probably drink your water or eat your water. <laughs> That's what it should say, eat there. Um, organic fruits and vegetables, those are the most, uh, especially organic, um, structure the water very well, helps it to get in the cells, and it's great. Um, but uh, obviously, you're going to have to have um, water throughout the day as well. Um, and in that case, we like reverse osmosis and some of these other water filtration systems. Um, you may have heard of Berkey. Uh, there's some uh, pluses and minuses with that. Um, I like a system called Clearly Filtered, which uh, kind of gets rid of the tank under the sink that the reverse osmosis requires. Um, this is the filter system down here. It's extremely easy to, to hook up, lasts a long time, 
and it seems to um, it, and it actually uh, proven to remove 99.9% .9 of all contaminants. Um, the latest and greatest thing that um, I want to talk to you guys about is distilled water. Um, because um, it, we get, we're seeing a much better detox effect from the, the distilled water. Now, um, you got to add electrolytes uh, back to that, uh, add minerals back to it, um, but otherwise it is completely contaminant-free. Um, and um, this little system here um, is called CZ uh, Distilled Water. I can send you guys the link on it, but um, this is the one I have. It's only 150 bucks. Um, which is a great deal. Um, this other site has mypurewater.com has industrial um, level distilled water, and those is start at seven fifty. So um, it's a lot better to maybe save a little money there. I'm having good success with that little one there. Um, so one thing I want you to look at is the um, amount of antioxidants in your water. One way to check that is this thing called an ORP meter. ORP stands for oxidative reduction potential. And um, so you want negative values on that, guys. Okay, so um, when you when you um, filter your water, you're not going to have a negative ORP. Okay, if anything, you're going to have a positive ORP. You have to do something special to the water to give it electrons. Okay, and that's what I'm going to get into next. Okay, but... Um, definitely check your water out, bring your water to me. Um, I'll look at it for you, but you want a negative, between a negative 100 and a negative 600 um, ORP value. Um, and that way you're giving yourself electrons um, and this reduces oxidative stress. You do, again, you do not want a positive number. Um, many of you are drinking water in the, you know, 400, 500, plus 400, 500 range. And this is essentially robbing you of beneficial electrons and, and creating more um, oxidative stress. Um, believe it or not, many of the supplements that you're taking, um, are actually, um, robbing you of electrons. Okay. So if you were to take a supplement out and mix it with water and test the ORP value, um, you'll see some positive numbers there and that's not what we want. Okay. Um, again, don't get robbed, you know, drinking positive ORP water or water that has not, does not have beneficial electrons is like, you know, doing all these great things, you know, IV ozone, um, IV vitamin C, uh, taking supplements, eating right, exercising, um, but then having your vitality slowly robbed from you at night. Um, this is what's happening um, with some of the waters, okay? Um, the dissolved uh, solids is important, okay? You want a low total dissolved solids. Um, so, for example, um, well water would have a, a high total dissolved solids, Okay. Um, and, um, that can end up in some of this, uh, I don't know if you can see it down here in the middle, um, this, uh, sort of placky stuff. This is basically calcium and some magnesium and some other minerals. Um, and they're not very easily used by the body. And those things can end up in the joints, uh, creating inflammation in the brain, um, creating, um, perhaps placking in the arteries. Um, but the distilled water, um, will have a zero to very close to zero uh, total dissolved solid. That means every little bad thing that could be in there that could create havoc in your body is out. Um, and again, this meter is very um, inexpensive on Amazon. I think it's like maybe 15 bucks. So check that out. So <clears throat> we talked about inflammation. We talked about all the things, the chronic diseases it can cause. Um, we talked about you know how to get the right water in. But how do we get that negative ORP? Well, the best way to do it, in my opinion, is uh, molecular hydrogen or act activated hydrogen. Um, first of all, a little bit on hydrogen. Um, it's the first um, element on the periodic table. It's the smallest element on Earth. Um, it has three times um, the energy that gasoline does. Powers the sun, uh, powers cars, and, and powers our bodies. Um, we are 62% hydrogen, so hydrogen is the most abundant element in our body. It is the most important nutrient. Think of hydrogen as fuel. Um, and the more hydrogen, the more fuel, the more energy, the more you can prepare the body, the more you can help the immune system and resolve chronic inflammation. Um, to do the um, hydrogen water, two molecules of hydrogen are joined together, um, and it's referred to H2 um, and exists in gas in, in nature. It's small size and gaseous form allow um, easy diffusion into the brain, very critical because it goes right there. As soon as you drink it or breathe it, it's right there, um, reducing inflammation. Um, gut, lungs, uh, membranes, joints, eyes, ears, it uh, goes everywhere. 
and this is all scientifically um, backed positive results. Um, there's hundreds of studies on molecular hydrogen, if not thousands, um, and talking about the therapeutic effect. We'll go over some of those studies here in a second. You can check that out on hydrogenstudies.com, uh, okay? Um, the body naturally does produce uh, between 12, 10 and 12 liters of hydrogen um, per day, um, and that is mostly from the fermentation process in the gut. But as we mentioned, the antibiotic use, toxic food supply, impure water does alter the gut somewhat. All of our guts are somewhat um, altered, unfortunately, and we're having less production of hydrogen gas, um, and then therefore less, less oxidative potential. Um, antioxidant, antioxidant potential. Um, so one of the benefits of some of this hydrogen now, first of all, hydrogen has been around for a bit. I mean, you guys have, you know, if you come in here, you've maybe heard of it or tried it. Um, but but the benefits, there's there's no question about the, the many benefits. We'll go over them with them, with them briefly. Um, but what I want to get into is the more advanced aspects of um, what we can do with hydrogen. Okay, so stick with me if you've already uh, been down this path with hydrogen. Um, first of all, um, I'm not sure if you guys have heard of the NRF2 pathway, but it's a very beneficial um, pathway in the body to protect against oxidative stress, okay? Um, just know that hydrogen water really activates that NRF2 pathway. There are supplements to help you in activate NRF2 pathway, and we can have a long list of different natural compounds to do that, but molecular hydrogen, again, is the smallest, most effective thing to make that happen. The next thing is, um, the most important thing that we see is it redu reduces this oxidative stress and inflammation. Um, it quenches this hydroxyl free radical, which is the worst, most potent free radical that we have. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, <clears throat> regulates over 200 biomolecules in the body, stimulates this ghrelin. <clears throat> um, you may have heard of ghrelin. That's the hunger hormone, but it does way more than that. Um, it increases cognitive function through gr ghrelin. So <clears throat> when you drink activated hydrogen, it, it promotes ghrelin, um, and that uh, helps to reduce inflammation in the gut. It also um, helps uh, other anti-inflammatory uh, systems throughout the body. Um, I think it sort of works through the vagus nerve to also reduce uh, inflammation in the brain. As you know, there's a gut-brain connection and the vagus nerve makes that connection. <clears throat> um, it, it does stimulate some of the anaerobic uh, bacteria in the intestinal tract. Um, and when you do that, um, it basically um, it produces this biogas, which is an energy source, uh, and that's very beneficial. And um, as we discussed, uh, or will discuss about some of the studies for um, beneficial um, for certain diseases, including uh, diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis. Um, in terms of the actual studies on molecular hydrogen for all these things, I mean, if you Google any one of these, you know, just one, one thing. So for example, diabetes and activated hydrogen, You'll see tons of studies on that. Um, skin disorder, psoriasis, a lot of you are dealing with peroral dermatitis or um, eczema. And it, do look at molecular hydrogen um, and drinking that throughout the day to help um, calm down some of these things. Um, a lot of you have small intestinal bacterial overgrowth and irritable bowel disease. By all means, please look at uh, molecular hydrogen because that goes right down into the GI tract and um, helps those uh, anaerobic uh, bacteria to get balanced and to um, reduce inflammation, okay? Um, so this hydroxyl free radical, um, you may have heard of it, but it's a nasty guy. Um, it wreaks havoc throughout the body. Um, it's basically involved in the Fenton reaction, okay? And this um, uh, hydrogen peroxide um, reaction with um, the superoxide um, free radical. And um, that's not great. Um, and it just really creates havoc in the body. Hydrogen water is the only, or activated hydrogen is a very potent quencher of this hydroxyl free radical. Um, in my opinion, um, the top one that creates all the aging. If you guys haven't heard of um, Dr. Joe Carnahan and Bob Miller, please do check them out. Um, they do wonderful discussions on the hydroxyl free radical. Um, this in particular talk talks about INOS, which is a form of nitric oxide. Um, they both uh, drink and breathe uh, activated hydrogen. So um, that, and they're the two top researchers in our field. So please, you know, I, I think it's uh, that in and of itself is, uh, we should give you impetus to try um, molecular hydrogen. Um, we see this uh, improvements with mood, anxiety, and autonomic nervous system. So first of all, as you know, um, or may, may not know, I don't know, um, we, we practice advanced biofeedback using um, Dr. Klinghart's autonomic response technique. It's taken us many years to 
learn that and to master that. Um, and that's more of an art, but essentially um, we do things in the office to um, help the body tolerate infections, okay? Um, tolerate Epstein-Barr, um, tolerate cytomegalovirus and these other things that could be causing um, stress uh, on your supercomputer and slowing it down. Um, what we what we want to achieve after we work with you is a steady state. In other words, um, we don't want to see these infections keep showing up in our testing and things like that. Um, we want to see gradual improvement in your um, condition. But one way to do that is reduce inflammation, and that's why um, the hydrogen rich water is great for great for that. And so. Um, that's why we're talking about it today, because if you drink uh, the hydrogen water in between our sessions, you can achieve a more stable state uh, with your uh, anti-inflammatory process and uh, get better faster, okay? Um, many, many studies, but just one I'd like to mention to you is Parkinson's. Uh, Parkinson's, by the way, is a really unfortunate disease, and we're seeing um, the statistics increase on it. Um, one in 15 now in the United States is dealing with uh, some form of Parkinson's disease or tremor uh, disorder, movement disorder. Um, one of the mechanisms behind that is alpha synuclein um, that gets in the brain. Um, if there's uh, altered proteins that create inflammation in the body. Um, but in this study, um, activated hydrogen was um, had the ability to attenuate um, some of the symptoms of Parkinson's. That's very encouraging. Um, that means it's getting to the brain. Um, this is going over some of the technical aspects of what um, molecular hydrogen does, and I won't spend too much time on this, um, but just know it interacts with this NOx enzyme, okay, to stop this activation of NOx creating this superoxide dismutase along with the hydrogen peroxide leading to this whole cascade of inflammation with uh, NF kappa B, um, down-regulating um, TNF alpha 1 and uh, interleukin 1 and 6. Just know if you know that's hieroglyphics, but it's basically lowering inflammation, um, and it's and it's stopping it at its root. Um, it also uh, encourages apoptosis, which is um, a favorable thing that you want to have in cancer. Apoptosis means cell death, so with cancer you want those cells uh, to die. Um, and then of course it shows the upregulation of um, the NRF2 system. Increases uh, membrane potential. We work with an advanced uh, laboratory called IGL Labs out of Germany um, that looks at the membrane potential, increases the ATP production, reduces swelling. Um, it, um, I'm not sure if you've heard of AMPK, but it activates AMPK, and that in turn um, also helps uh, FOXO3 as well as CERT1. The CERT1 uh, was made sort of maybe more popular um, by David Sinclair and his research on the NAD, but just know that um, hydrogen, activated hydrogen boosts CERT1, um, and uh, that's an anti-aging um, suite of uh, enzymes and gene systems. Um, it, uh, let's see, decreases potential mitochondrial loss, which is always a good thing, um, increases the anti-inflammatory mechanisms, um, and uh, I think we'll just leave it at that. But it's a win-win-win here with activated hydrogen on a molecular level for sure. Now, <clears throat> if you guys um, are coming to see us uh, with brain fog, fatigue, um, and um, you have multiple sim system, uh, symptoms, um, including um, neurological symptoms, um, pain, um, depression, anxiety, insomnia, um, pain in the body, um, as well as uh, activation of uh, histamine um, and gut disorders. Um, you could have this uh, condition called chronic inflammatory response syndrome. Um, this was coined by Dr. Ricky Shoemaker, who we are um, in constant um, work with uh, using this protocol. And um, unfortunately, um, this is due to um, a, an insult or biotoxin to the system. Typically in the South, it's mold, but it can also be uh, Lyme and other things. Um, but that tends to reduce this very important um, neuropeptide called melanocyte stimulating hormone. And so we can measure that in you as well as these other things. But when MSH, MSH is reduced, um, that's why you have the sleep issues. That's why you have the pain. The GI issues. 
um, and all of these things. And what we have to do very delicately using peptides and using other advanced things that we use is to, to increase the MSH. Um, and of course, if, if you're in a moldy environment, you need to get away from the mold because that's uh, starting this whole thing. Uh, we've got to treat any infections in the sinuses. Um, but again, the reason I bring this up is because if you're dealing with mold or Lyme or Epstein-Barr or something else chronic, um, activated hydrogen um, has the ability to reduce this inflammation that's keeping this going and putting you in a continuous uh, cell danger response uh, or hibernation mode where the body just shuts down. Um, okay, so so do consider that. Now, <clears throat> how do we get the hydrogen? Um well, um, there's all kinds of uh, tricks out there. Um, the one that um, I'm sort of keen on here lately, just because it's a very low cost entry um, to hydrogen without spending thousands of dollars is this EcoGo system by Synergy Science. Um, and um, I don't know if you can see it there with my screen guard here, but um, you press this button here twice and it creates these tiny little hydrogen bubbles and it'll go for, a, it'll brew this thing for about 10 minutes. Now I have my distilled water in here. And after this little, you know, thing is done, you simply just drink the water, you know, take off the top here and drink the water. And you're going to get a nice negative ORP, negative 200, 300, 400, 500, something like that, which is giving me electrons throughout the day. Um, so that system is only $150, and I think with the last Black Friday sale, which is going to this Tuesday, um, you'll you'll get a nice discount with that. Um, our our discount code will also um, help you uh, save some money there. Now you can also you might have seen these little hydrogen tablets. Okay, um, you can put these in the water. Um, I don't like these for long term. They're good for just things like travel. Um, it does create a reaction with magnesium oxide, which is not the best, uh, most bioavailable form of um, magnesium in the body, in my opinion. In my my recent experience, um, the best way to get hydrogen in the body is to breathe it. Now, um, this is what I'm going to tell you is is more about uh, Brown's gas or electrically electrically expanded water um, or plasma water. Um, that um, is going to give you way, way, way more electron potential than just breathing um, hydrogen. So just know that there are hydrogen machines to breathe hydrogen. But um, in our experience, um, in la latest research, is that the Brown's gas is the way to go, okay? So I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing here. And this is my nasal cannula, by the way, um, that I'm using to, uh, to breathe the oxygen. And, you know, here it is, okay, or I'm sorry, hydrogen. Um, or um, electrically expanded water. Okay, so Brown's gas is molecular molecular hydrogen on steroids. Um, what is it? Well, um, first of all, this is a machine called the AquaCure. Um, I can sort of explain all these things here, but um, it's creating a gaseous mixture. We call it hydrox, hy um, hydroxy, okay? And uh, that mixture is of hydrogen, oxygen, and Brown's gas. That's the electrically expanded water otherwise known as the fourth phase of water. So I'm not sure if you've heard of Dr. Um, Dr. Jerry Pollack who wrote the fourth phase of water um, or the, um, yes, the, the, this uh, easy zone of water, um, but that's essentially what it is. Um, and um, it gives this real deep hydration of the system. It helps with pain. We don't like to use the word heal, but um, definitely supports um, all the symptoms of aging. Um, so we're, by giving um, this much hydrogen in the system, um, we're basically helping the body heal itself. By the way, when you breathe this hydrogen just for 12 seconds, it's like drinking a whole liter of this activated hydrogen here. Okay, so it's a very deep, um, quick way to reduce uh, inflammation in the body, okay? Um, it's, uh, again, a, a mixture of these different combustible gases um, from machines specifically designed to electrolyze water, not to separate the gases, simply hydrogen, oxygen, and water vapor, as well as this electrically expanded water is made by splitting water on demand, okay? So these are the different things that are coming out of it, okay? Um, I can't go into much more detail of that given the time constraints, but... Uh, Known, it's a, just known as a very advanced process that's been around for uh, 15, 20 years. Um, this is the gentleman that has really made um, the hydrogen um, or the Brown's gas and hydrogen water um, well known here in the United States and makes these devices um, here that we're uh, discussing. Um, he's got great talks on YouTube, so do check those out. 
Again, none of these statements are approved by the FDA or AMA and uh, can't use them for diagnosing or prescribing. Um, so, so this Brown's gas um, it can bring balance and allow the body to heal. Um, it really helps to hydrate with hydrogen, okay? Most of us are just plain dehydrated. Um, and it's very difficult to hydrate. I don't care how much water you drink. It's very difficult to, on a cellular level, to hydrate the, the body. And you can do it with hydrogen, especially breathing hydrogen. Um, we want to stop the free radical damage, okay? We, especially in the brain. We've got to put the, the inflammation out in the brain. Breathing it is the fastest, best way to do it, in my opinion. Um, we need to repair the immune system. Listen, when we're in cell danger response, the body's dealing with chronic illness, the immune system is not a priority. Um, keeping the primitive functions of the brain um, and the heart uh, active and working is the priority, um, but not higher order brain functions, and definitely not the immune system. So the immune system is the first thing that needs to get repaired. As I said, as, always, as all of us get older, there's this process called inflammation, and the immune system just doesn't work well. When you have chronic uh, insults on top of that, whether through toxins or infections, well, we, we've got a problem. We need to repair that immune system. Um, we need to support all the tissues and organs um, and, and reduce the oxidative stress there. That's what activated hydrogen does. Um, we need to support the endocrine system. So it's really this um, these, these three things that need to come in alignment to get better from chronic illness. The central nervous system, you know, reducing the inflammation there, um, getting it to communicate with the immune system, boosting the immune system, getting, getting all of that to communicate with the endocrine system and, and, and making that work harmoni harmoniously. And I can think of nothing that would do it more eloquently um, than, than hydrogen, okay? I um, mean, this way the body can heal itself. It really can. Um, it does take time, okay? Um, my personal um, journey with this, uh, this is a picture of my unfortunate nail here that was... Um, uh, unfortunately, this was a dog that got a hold of my um, nail here, and uh, it's a long story. But um, anyway, I almost lost my nail there. I'm, I'm, I'm lucky I didn't lose my finger, and um, it created all kinds of tendon and uh, ligament damage there. And so, um, uh, this happened though maybe two months ago, but it's finally healing now, and uh, that finger is getting straighter. Um, so that's one way I know that this is working. Another one is um, this is Odds Good Slaughter's disease here. This is um, an old uh, knee injury that I had uh, back from high school track or whatever. And this is some um, pain and inflammation on the ischial tuberosity. And as of about a year or so ago, I could not run um, because of the pain. Every time I'd land, it would shoot pain through here. Um, but now doing activated hydrogen and breathing the gas, um, I have no pain whatsoever. Now, there are other things I'm doing. I'm doing um, pro-resolving mediators or SPM, specialized pro-resolving mediators. Those are very good. That's a very advanced fraction of fish oil that I can teach you guys about. Um, I'm also doing modified citrus pectin, which acts on the uh, galactin-3 system to block that and reduce inflammation. So uh, th those things are also helping, but I can tell you, um, I haven't been doing uh, breathing browns gas that long, maybe... Uh, couple of months and uh, boy, I'm really seeing amazing benefits better and faster than anything I've ever tried, essentially. Um, it is uh, boosting my VO2 max, which is a uh, measurement of um, athletic um, capacity and ability. Um, I think maybe oh, a couple months ago, I was only at about 52, 53, and now I'm at 59. It would have taken me six months to a year to get, to get that with consistent training, and I'm definitely not consistently training. So I can tell from a biochemistry level, an oxygenation level, it's helping. Um, I am starting to um, hit more and more PRs. This is a 13 mile little training run that I did at a 635 pace. Not too bad for a 52 year old guy. All right, so um, to get this uh, hydrogen system, um, like I said, do check out the Echo Go system right here, okay? And um, uh, we can give you the coupon uh, code for that, or you can use this link to activate that coupon code. And then the um, this Brown's gas machine um, is not uh, cheap, unfortunately. Um, but this, uh, with the coupon, will get it down to about 2200 or so. And that's down from about 5000 The price is coming way down. Um, but in my mind, it's an investment um, and... Uh, to me, the benefits far outweigh any issues with cost or anything else um, in terms of its ability to lower inflammation. 
Um, and uh, in that way, you might be able to really reduce supplement um, needs. Um, now, some of you can't take supplements for whatever reason, uh, gut issues, swallowing issues, um, sensitivity issues, but you can breathe, you know, so the, the breathing of the gas is um, really helpful in those types of um, things. Um, so these are some of the tools that we've used lately um, to really help um, detoxify the body and help um, reduce inflammation and to optimize performance. Um, like I said, I've, I've experienced a lot of great things um, here recently using the gas, especially improved mood, improved energy. Um, I, I have, I've been doing this for many years and I have not experienced anything um, like it thus far. Um, so I'm super excited about it. And that's why I wanted to, to share that with you guys today. Um, please do reach out to me with any questions. Um, here's some of our references. There's tons of uh, studies on um, hydrogen, as I mentioned, um, thousands, of course. Uh, and but, but there's less studies on um, Brown's gas, okay? Um, on um, George Wiseman's website, uh, he does have um, some studies on Brown's gas, uh, but we need some more research there. Um, he does a great talk here um, on YouTube, so do check that out. He's talking uh, to the Tesla convention. Wonderful discussion there. And then um, uh, some some other discussions here um, on YouTube as well. Um, happy to answer your questions, and uh, eventually we'll have uh, do some demonstrations of this device uh, in the office. Um, but do do check these things out. At least uh, the hydrogen um, is 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 almost a no brainer for almost uh, every disease state. Okay. Um, so with that, um, I'll leave you guys for now and uh, look forward to continuing to to assist you to achieve optimal wellness and to overcome some of your health challenges. And uh, we'll keep bringing to you the latest updates, the latest and greatest from uh, um, all the great thinkers and the conferences that we've been attending and. Uh, Super excited to share some of this information with you. So with that, um, we'll, we'll uh, sign off and uh, we'll be in touch and uh, take care and be well.